Shredder Marjorie, Leo Strider, Rachel Firestorm, Austin Williams, to the BT Ag World, Commander's Apartment, Austin's Apartment, Commander's Office, the Dormitory, Devil and Rachel's House, Casa del Sol at Night, Reynolds Law, Next to Newsroom, Casa del Sol on the Beach, Casa del Sol Ball, Seed Classroom, Galactic Biker Ball. Hey everyone, so, uh, oh, mouth not moving. Oh, okay, that's better. My uh, mistake on my behalf. Welcome, um, welcome, welcome. We're back on the stream here today. As later on in a bit, we're gonna be, be uh, playing like Final Fantasy, like not Final Fantasy, but uh, Mega Man Battle Network. Hold on, I gotta tweet about this, give an update, you know. Hold on, I gotta tweet about this. I really should get off of Konami's jam. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Once. All right. Yeah, I know I'm going all around. That's because, like, oh, uh. Wow, okay. Why, why am I down? What? What? What did I press? Uh, that, that, that was weird. So, uh, yeah, before, like, we actually get on with the actual stream of gameplay, I, I want to talk about something right quick of my, uh, of VTubers Designs. Now, y'all saw on Twitter slash X just recently, uh, allow me to bring it up, that y'all got uh, two more VTubers that have been fully designed by me and voiced by others. And y'all saw them on the screen selection stream, team two. Oh, uh, character selection and thing. So, allow me to move myself to the side. So, uh, this is Kai Voltaire. Now, if the two names sound familiar, they're the combination of two characters. And so is Kai. Uh, Kai is the combination of Kai Horari. You know, the original Beyblade? We'll bring his heart up, his character, in a second. He's inspired from it. The next one, obviously is Voltaire, the goth musician. You can see his type of clothes is hugely inspired by it. His style of clothes, but not his overall hair and face. 
As a matter of fact, the body's not inspired from Voltaire. The style of clothing and even personality. As it kind of fits the character. If not on how I made it. Kai is a melee class. Meaning that he's close range. He doesn't like fighting far range or mid range. He likes getting in close. He controls time with his power, meaning that he's a time manipulator and controller. If that makes any sense. So, inspired by two things. Kai Hawori from Blade Blade, as we're going to bring up Kai right now. Kai D. E. E-L-A. Bay. Oh, screwed up Bay. There is no L. So you can see some inspiration. I decided to go with the blue type uh, hair from this model, obviously. It's supposed to be hugely inspired, the gray and the blue and the hair and somewhat of the character. Nice, huh? Let's bring up Voltaire, the goth musician. Uh, A-Q-W-O-R-L-D, Worlds, D. I can't remember how it expressed and expelled. Uh, whoa. Voltaire. Okay, so hold on, like. Voltaire, Voltaire. Okay, so. Voltaire. So there's a golf musician called Voltaire. I said Volt, not Solitaire. So back in the day, I used to play a lot of Adventure Quest Worlds. Uh, this is Voltaire's character in the game. He's also a goth musician. He's done a lot of music for Adventure Quest Worlds. He's even a, a very va famous goth musician, like I said before. As Ty's personality comes off of Voltaire's, like, chipper or... Uh, that's not the Voltaire we were looking for. <laughs> ah, Voltaire. Okay, Voltaire. Ah, there it is, Voltaire, a Cuban-American. Here we go. 
So this is the original, this is Voltaire I was talking about. This is the guy that obviously seen some of the Adventure of Course World stuff, has his own, own character, all that. Uh, uh. Uh, this is where Kai's two names and design and characteristics come from. So that's Kai. His code name is the Red Timeless Eagle, meaning that, oh, time does not affect him, but he can affect time. Uh, next, we're going to the Greta Madre. So, y'all may have noticed about Greta, she has a bit of a Russian accent. This is because I felt it felt, uh, went with the character. I found someone that did a Russian accent, or had one, and she's more than happy to do it. And I really do love the hard work I did in this one. This design was a little bit difficult because guess what? With the um, overall like scarf around the arms, there is no definite v a design for a scarf around the arms and back. I looked for it. I looked for something like this to have that scarf around the arms and back. But I could not find it. No one developed it. I found out it was a little intricate as you had to do several things to do it. One, you needed to wrap it around the arms. And then what you needed to do, obviously after wrapping the scarf around the arms, is very, very weird. I had to take a, obviously, you know, thumbnail of one issue. Like, I guess I can bring it up in V-Roy because, like, merely talking about it won't be able to solve the intricacy of, like, Legretta's, like, complicated design. And with her scarf, you can see the scarf can stretch with the model. Meaning that it's wrapped around her body. We're going to go to the outfit so I can please show you how it was done. So first, we need to go to custom. And like it's in the upper areas, I think. So, no. So we had to wrap it around the arms. Then what we had to do, like I can't remember how I did it though. Ah, here's how I did it. So I put it around the shirt. And between the two, for some reason, v -Royd Studios ended up merging the two. And this is the results. You got the scarf around the arms and back of the waist. But Greta's design is very unique and her character her character is supposed to who um well and i quote be that reflected upon a scarred well that wasn't supposed to happen a scarred soldier a soldier that has made mistakes that was considered a war criminal for wrong if not misguided and negatively influenced decisions. She was negatively influenced by her former commander, or like leader of sorts. So she ended up paying the price. She did have a fragment of their god inside her body that kept her alive, but she was stabbed through the chest through a sword that sealed her uh, healing ability from keeping her from healing, but kept her paralyzed. She was alive, but paralyzed, and she couldn't heal from the wound as long as the sword was still impaled in her chest. Now, uh, that does sound a little messed up. 
but you would need to play the game Tales of the Abyss of where I'm coming from. In that game, there was one major issue. That issue was, did Legretta die? And this way, at least I can answer it in a different continuity with a VTuber model. Did she technically die? The fragment of Lorelei, their god, gives them immortality with healing. But Ashlared's sword was literally a sword that can sever the power of Lorelei. It was one of those weapons. But did it kill her? In the game, you find out, you know, Vaughn and the others leave, and it's left up to interpretation. Did they die? Did she die? Did Ash die? Did one of them live? Are they trapped in that room forever? What happened? We don't know. We didn't get that answer. So I decided to recreate the character in a new light and with a new, like, overall design and feature. If that makes any sense. We're going to get the playing Ming Man Battle Network 2 here in a few seconds. As I'm going to be real, I just wanted to bring this stuff up. I also ended up uh, making one more article of art, at least today. And I want to cover, like, Hollow Live Justice's video that I did, and the individuals that are voicing some of my models. We ended up going over, like, oh, our thoughts on Hollow Live's VTubers. But before then, Let's go into the galactic map. Now, I did do three artists a solid, as they've been supportive of my work for the longest time. Frost the Hobbit, Blay, and Gwen. Uh, these three have actually been very supportive and love my work. Or at least, I think they do. Ooh, love my work, but they've been very supportive of me. Each one of them have a planet named after themselves, as these planets have no name. Obviously, planet from Final, the Final Fantasy I planet has no name in the continuity. So, I decided to name it after the artist Le A -A -Le. And the fourth planet does not have a name as well. I started. I decided to call it Planet Gwendolyn, as I call Gwen Gwendolyn. You know, just just for the laws with her. She's actually a really good person and a really brilliant artist. Go support her on Twitter or slash X. She's a brilliant artist and she deserves much love. And next is obviously Frost the Hobbiton from Final, the Planet of Final Fantasy Three. Does not have a name. So I call it Planet Hobbiton. As, yeah. So these are the galactic quadrants. I need to make the art a little bit more sound where the planets are located. But we'll go into that right now. So you have the North Galaxy right here. The homeworlds right here are Planet Elvos, inspired by Tales of the, uh, the Abyss. It's called Planet Laurel, but I decided to call it Lavos. So, inspired from Tales of the Abyss. You have uh, Planet Lay and Planet Gwendolyn. Planet Lavos Planet is found in this quadrant. Right here. Planet Lay and Gwyn have constantly been at war in the past as they are constantly at disagreements with each other. They're found here. Now, Planet Gwendolyn is the home world of Geo Strider. Planet Lay doesn't have any of the teammates from it. So, they're found in this quadrant. Next, you have Gala and Spira. 
obviously Final Fantasy 7 and 12, or technically Final Fantasy 7 and 10 and 10 2. They're found over here. Next, you have planet Lunar Terra of Final Fantasy VIII. This planet has no official name. They have never named the planet, so uh, Lunar Terra. So I decided to call it Lunar Terra from the Lunar Tear -er incident, as I think it well fits the planet's name. It's found here, the home world of Seed in the North Galaxy E. And every galaxy garden can be found somewhere in the center of the universe. So more likely, when I'll put uh, the North Galaxy, it'll be right here. Next, you have the East. There's three planets. You have planet R from five. It's found in this quadrant. And planet Terra from Final Fantasy IX, also found here. When you see two planets beside each other like this, they're located in one galactic quadrant. And then you have planet Vera Vendel from FF11. It's found in this quadrant. You have the South Galaxy, home to oh, these worlds. Planet Earth 13 in the Milky Way Galaxy. You have planet Lemire from 12. You have Grand Pulse and, and planet Nova Chrysalia, that which are from Final Fantasy. 13. This is 12. This is our home planet, the Milky Way Galaxy. As it's designated as 13. I just did that because, you know, like, oh, we're unlucky 13. So, yeah. Milky Way Galaxy. This is where Grand Pulse and uh, Nova Chrysler is found. And Planet Lemire is right here. In this quadrant. Next you have the West Galaxy. As stated, the West Galaxy is mostly void of life. I, I forgot to put uh, like the F there and said I put a V. Um uh, of life, but two worlds. It has two worlds, and they're the only ones that have life, and they're found in the same galaxy. They're found here. You have Planet Hobbiton and Pro Planet Elios from XV and Final Fantasy III. I decided to give these artists a little respect, if not in more of an ego trip, because they have supported me. And thank you all so much for standing by my side through these hard times and overall listening to my rambling and... Uh, well, mispronunciations when it comes to text to chat. <laughs> they have literally put up with me, and I, and they, I see them as possible friends, even friendly artists in the near future. So that's the Galactic Quadrant of the Final Fantasy Galactic Map of CE Next Gen Ops. Now, one thing I want to go over is, oh, this. This is something I made to show a little respect to, obviously, Hollow Lives, Hollow Justice. A little thoughts on this, though. Well, compared to my characters, by the way, it is a bit disrespectful, but they're different. I started doing the hero shtick before them. I think Hollow Live didn't know this, and they went with it. I started doing the hero shtick before them, but the hero shtick is not technically tied to one industry or person or character. It's more of a spooky motif. This video was the team doing a conference overall talking about the E. Hollow Life Justice personnel, and if they have the potential to defend the universe. Maybe one day, they'll have that potential. But right now, according to what I've gathered 
on their characters and their VTuber models, their powers are seriously lacking. They're good for planet Earth, but not much else. So, now with all this out of the way and mentioned, let's get on to Mega Man Battle Network. Because I know that's what y'all are here for. Y'all are here to see the continuation of that gameplay. Why over there? Why are you over there? Get over here. Get over here, boy. Get on over here. This is where you go. Ha ha. Let's get the play. Main Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. I know y'all want Ashi to play this, Let's hang out but she's been um, very intimate about needing the ad of 800 subs and even that of 25 to 30 backers. So it's a bit messed up. We got this. She will continue to create videos. She just doesn't want to live stream until something changes. She is quite aware of like, oh, the... Okay, so, yeah, this is gonna be annoying. Let me go with my VTuber settings and uh, disconnect like the jump feature. Because, yeah, from like the controls, that's gonna be annoying if I keep doing this. Like motion. A jump, none. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's see, like, yeah. It worked. I mean, me jumping every time I press the A button is going to get really annoying. Alright, let's go. So, we got to find out where that dealer is. Did it invert my controls? I could have... Like, running supposed to be on X, not A. I think I just, like, modify my controls again. Pick up with Final Fantasy VIII tomorrow. And Wednesday is gonna be Power World, so. Saturday, we're gonna finally continue to play Robocop.
Okay, so that's where we need to go. We can't go there yet. Because a meeting will be held here soon. We gotta figure out how to get in that meeting. I would look up a tutorial right now. But I think that'd be more of an annoyance. I'd rather do this hardcore lot. Find out for myself. It's been a hot minute since I tried to uh, like get through this part of the game. Oh, that was a thing. That was on accident. We need to go to the square. Let's start asking around. I saw a thug man leaving the square. I heard him say, and he's busy he has him having a meeting. I think that man triggered the event. Okay, we got both lines of dialogue. Alright. There we are. Gotcha. Go and get him. Gonna be rambling your cages. Mm -hmm.
Ah! Snake Lady. Okay, Snake Man's real pain. If you're not prepared. And we got everything back. Trader allows you to trade chips up to ten, so all out of that. There your ass. Marshall Z. not very good right now you gotta get on later on in the game to get better chips from the traders so like the more you progress the better chance the better the stuff you get Secret meaning. Look at this big old bank, though. Man, that, I haven't seen a bank like that uh, in the fourth dimension for like years. Let's jack into the angel. That's so dirty. Why? Why is my brain like this? I tell you why. I blame VTubers. Especially the female type. They're like, all the time, like, Why are males so horny in the VTubing scene? Why don't you look at yourselves? And how you make us, you know, like, think how VTubing works. Jeez!
because like they get super offended when obviously a mountain comes off for me. And here's the thing, they come off warning all the time. And this is where the misperception of YouTubers between male and female happen. A misunderstanding of what makes a VTuber successful. And this is partially on female VTubers, but also partially on males. Because we get this idea to be a successful Oh, VTuber, we have to come off horny, even the male. And... Yes and no. There is a type of horny. But you really need to keep it in check. A lot of female VTubers hate horny males. I'm not going to color code it. When I say... Yes, they do not like horny male VTubers. They are disgusted by them, they hate them, they don't engage them. When I was on Twitter slash X and I thought, oh, this was the way to success, I came off horny. Only, oh, there we go. Missed the mark. and get hugely hated, even disrespected. That was never my intent. <laughs> Top secret conference. Me? Which one is it this time? The, in the ultimate Navi. You don't say. In the electronic world. Nothing's appearing on the screen. It's a drop! No, everybody run. It's no use, we're too late. Land? Yes. You're so glad you didn't fall in a pit of spikes, boy. Yeah, ouch. Just scraped it, but I'm fine. Uh-oh, phone call. What could that be? Did everyone uh, um, get off unhurt? According to HQ, the meeting was found out by Gospel. Gospel's net battlers disrupted us. The data of uh, the uh, handler of the Super Navi was stolen. The net battlers hacked our intruder. Hacked our intruder repel system. The traps of the castle have been activated. Yeah, as their sights are set on our lives. Yeah. Not. Oh, arrow. I wonder who could be behind all this. Hmm. Run! Ah! 
Ah, crud! No, no, no. I want to suck your data! Vampire tropes. Okay, there we go. Gotta get another cybernet key. OV. We got Frankenstein's data monster after us. Clues. <laughs> uh oh. Johnson, what's happening? Sorry, I got hung up by a trap. Johnson, I'm coming. I'll save you. Where are you? I'm done for. Forget about me. Press on ahead. Go, 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 go. Rah! Blast it. Well, Johnson's dead. Somebody better call Johnson and Johnson. I mean, I've always kind of liked Princess Pride. She's really cute. You know, in a rich, spoiled, pampered way. Shame in the first game she appeared in. Spoiled, by the way. That, uh, you know... Oh. He's the bad. I mean, this game's been out way far longer than y'all think. So, of course, you probably figured out, oh, wait a minute, you girl villain. Of course she would be the villain. It's a common trope, really. Like, cute, rich, like, somewhat acting innocent character in this scenario being the villain. You stole my money. I'm gonna fucking kill your ass! Get it back. I'm gonna murder that. Ass. 
mine. That's my property. Let's go get that other item before we literally get out. It's over there all the way in the beginning. Meaning that bandit's gonna respawn. Drop your best battle chip. Oh. Oh. I already told y'all she's the villain, so th there ain't no need for that. for this world. Oh! Flames on! Gotta give it up for Maine. She gave us this thing and it's gonna save our bacon. Don't want to fight that sword, see. Because we basically got shooty stuff. We have to change that. We want to fight off that sword scene, we need swords. Uh-oh. Not right. Don't worry, buddy, we're coming to save you.
go oh I myself very soon it is gonna I'm finally gonna start be taking like obviously Japanese language lessons as a VTuber it is a VTuber's job to like in a way obviously be a multilingual or like I guess language lingual I don't know how to put it basically you gotta know multiple languages and one of them is very important it's Japanese or Japan or yeah I'd be more uh, blunt or an honest Japanese kanji or kanji in general Oh, he's toasty. Chad, you are an idiot. You're supposed to be a uh, net battle or investigator, and you call me the enemy? Lands right, neither one of you is from Gospel. She's the real criminal in your butts. Hurt by Gospel, if you were fooled. But believe me, she's been up this way. Ugh. What a far sorry land. Yeah, fooled me too. I just, I distrusted you. Oh, look who it was! Wow, chat. Name man, let's do it. Sure thing. Put this bitch down. That way. We got one more sword, we gotta find it if we're gonna take care of this thing. There we go. Die, Demon Shadow!
not enough. Plus, best to the ease of the guys I can give any future content creator or even VTuber. Don't waste your time trying to impress the others. And it's only gonna cause you, like, to overwork yourself. I was trying to impress them with my skill sets, only for it to cause me to overwork myself almost again. They're really not worth impressing, at least in my eyes. Especially how they come to irrational judgment and spread rumors. Electrify the blade. A power up. Okay, we should be in head of the thief now. Or well, the thief should be right behind us. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
that chip was kind of important anyways. That's a dead end. It's, it's, it sounded dirty. Remember its pattern, it should come down. So. No, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't. My heels, you vampiric asshole. You to go past. No. Big gum it. Okay, let's save right here. Move on. Ah, Nightman! 
prepare for my chivalrous overall giant. Not of a hammer. Prepare to get mixed. I'm sorry, you're gonna mace what? <laughs> Man scenario. Magnet, 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 man, magnet, 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 man. Where's we'll take on Snake Man? Time to burn your snake. I guess we can try to take on Raul Ra one more time to see if we can get Thunderman's chip. country will be able to take on Protoman. Ah, Mrs. Mods. Wow, kid, you look grumpy as hell. What's your damage? Seas over trip. Ah, 
Uh, kid, you're you're young. You're not supposed to have dreams like that. But I, I guess dreams are weirdly manifested. Let's go check out the cockpit. Ha! <laughs> cockpit. Thank you. 